Hey guys, Micah here from ebikeschool.com and today I've got a bit of a different video for you. Long story short, uh, I'm on vacation now in Florida visiting my parents and I apparently had really great timing because we're about uh, six hours out from the eye of Hurricane Irma coming really close to this location. So I just want to make this quick video and show you some of our preparations for when the powers go out. Now we're safe here, you know, we've boarded up the house, we've got lots of food and water, so that stuff's already out of the way. But now we're dealing with what to do when we have, you know, hours or days of no power. And so I've gone and I've built a bunch of e-bike batteries here that are 48 volt batteries. I have another 12 volt battery. I'm going to show you how to use these to run all of your 110 or 220 volt appliances. Now first of all, the easiest method is if you have a 12 volt battery. So this is a 12 volt 60 amp hour lithium battery that I built a while back for my dad's electric kayak. Now the way to use this is very simple. Basically, you're going to want to get some type of 12 volt accessory outlet. We often think of these as like the cigarette lighter outlets on a car. And you can just plug this directly into a 12 volt lithium battery. And then from here, you're going to need to plug in some type of inverter. So here I've got a 12 volt to 110 volt inverter. This one's only 200 watts, but you can get more powerful ones. And you'll just plug this guy in. And now you can power any of your 110 volt or 220 volt appliances, you know, lamps, um, your radios to charge. You can also charge your cell phone, iPad, anything that charges off of USB straight from the 12 volt accessory outlet if you have one like this. Now, what's more common for a lot of us is to have higher voltage batteries. So these are my three 48 volt, 20 amp hour batteries. And for these, it's a little bit more complicated. There are inverters that can convert from 48 volts or other higher voltages up to 110 volt AC but they're more expensive and they're usually higher power and I wasn't able to get one real quick on Amazon before the storm. So I'm gonna show you how to do this by first converting down to 12 volts and then back up to 110 or 220, which is a little bit less efficient, but it'll work for our purposes. So here I've got what's actually a golf cart DC-DC uh, converter. So I'm gonna plug this into my 48 volt battery and this is gonna drop it down to 12 volts DC. So now I've gone from 48 volts to 12 volts DC. Next, I can take my uh, 12 volt accessory outlet and I can plug this into the output of the DC DC converter which is here polarity is important and now I can plug my inverter into the 12 volts that I'm getting out of my DC DC converter and then you can just like before take your appliances this is a radio charger which you can plug in you know, your, uh, your lamps, anything that is a power level that meets your inverter. So this is a, just a simple how-to. I hope none of you guys ever have to use this, but if you're in a situation where you're out of power, you can pretty easily use large lithium batteries for your e-bike, your um, you know, electric skateboard, other things to run your appliances. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and stay safe.